For the construction of the new St. Joseph Coptic Orthodox Church building, the church needs to raise $3 million. An amount of $1.5 million is needed by March 2021, and an additional $1.5 million is needed during construction until completion of the church building in 2023. In addition to regular donations, a pledge can be used to raise the money in a very short time. This short Q&A will be used to explain what exactly is a pledge and how you can support the new church construction project by pledging an amount. What exactly is a pledge? Well, a pledge is a promise of support by a certain date. In the example for our church, we are looking for a promise of support by March 1st, 2021, in anticipation of the construction start date for the new church. Using the pledge form, you are telling the church that you are ready to loan the church money for the construction, or provide a donation by March 2021. This helps the church to financially plan ahead. What options do I have to pledge? You have four different options. The first, a direct loan with interest. The second, a direct loan that's interest free. And the third, loan on a line of credit where the church will pay the monthly payments directly to your bank, which includes both principal and interest. Examples could include a home equity line of credit or an unsecured personal line of credit. And the last, a donation without any repayment. What is the first option, direct loan with interest? For the first option, you'll provide money to the church in the form of a loan with interest. You will receive all your money back at the end of the term with an interest of 3% per year. The interest is recorded with CRA and a T5, which is the statement of investment income, is issued at the end of each year that the money is loaned. What is a direct loan without interest? A direct loan without interest is when you provide money to the church and do not request that the church pay interest on that loan. At the end of the term, the church will return the entire amount back to you. Can you explain the loan on my unsecured line of credit? If you currently have an unsecured line of credit or can open one with your bank, the church can benefit by taking withdrawals against it. The church will take all the information from your line of credit and will make all payments, which include principal and interest, directly to the bank, so you don't have to worry about anything. Can you explain the loan on my home equity line of credit? If you currently own your home or have a mortgage on it, you may be able to get a home equity line of credit of up to 65% of the value of your home. For example, if the value of your home today is $500,000, you can get a line of credit of up to $325,000. If you have no mortgage owing, this would be the amount you would provide the church on loan where the church will pay for both the interest and principal amount owing. Another example, if you have a mortgage owing, the bank will let you get a home equity line of credit as long as the home equity line of credit and the current mortgage is not greater than 80% of the total house value. Here is an example that demonstrates that. When will I receive the money I loan the church back? The church will provide you with the loan back starting two years after receiving it. For example, if you provide a loan in March 2021, the church will start returning your loan in March 2023. So starting in March 2023, the church will take one year to return the entire loan by March 2024, taking a total of three years to have your loan completely repaid back. What if I move or my financial situation changes after I have provided the loan? With enough warning, the church understands that life changes and the church will repay the, the loan back in full once requested. Remember, a pledge is a promise. Where you can make a promise today that you will provide the church funds by March 2021, you can change or cancel this promise at any time before this date. But with this, these promises, it will help the church pay for all the construction costs in 2021. What about the last option? Will I get a tax receipt if I choose donation rather than loan? The last option is a donation that you'll provide by March 2021. You'll receive a tax receipt because it's a donation and not a loan. This is the only option where no repayment is made by the church. I'm interested. What do I do next? 
please fill out the loan pledge form and submit it to the treasurer. A legal document called a promissory note will be created and signed by the priest, the treasurer, and the assistant treasurer. The pledge form will help uh, us track how many loans and donations we will receive come March 2021. We will work with you in March 2021 to arrange for the loans and donations to be received properly.